Like any father, Prince Charles was keen to introduce his two sons to each other at the first opportunity. And so it was that Prince William was led by the hand back to the room where he was born two years ago. William, of course, was excited about seeing his mother again, unaware and uncaring that he was also to visit the new third in line to the throne. Inside, the Princess of Wales heard her eldest son squeals of delight as he ran down the corridor and she slipped out of bed to be by the door of her room as he rushed into her arms. The crowd, some had come from as far as Devon and Scotland, stood for hours to see the comings and goings with patience and never failing good humour. Prince William, obviously delighted with his new brother, bustled out 15 minutes later with a friendly wave to the press and was lifted into the safety seat in the back of the family car by Nanny Barnes. Whilst outside the waiting was still going on, inside the waiting and worrying for the staff was over. The birth had been greeted with elation. Oh, everybody was absolutely thrilled. As soon as the news came out, everybody was beaming from ear to ear and people were going around shaking hands with each other. I went up to the main maternity ward and everybody was laughing up there. It was wonderful. Then at 2.35, the waiting was over. The princess looked happy, relaxed and well recovered from her labour. She smiled with her customary shyness at the horde of international newsmen who'd waited for this moment less than 24 hours after Prince Harry had been born. The tiny bundle in the white shawl was receiving his first sights and sounds of the outside world, but from the glimpse we saw of him, it appeared he was fast asleep. Then it was all over and they drove away to Kensington Palace to start life quietly and alone as a newly enlarged family. Jeremy Hands, ITN, St Mary's Hospital, Paddington.